Hey guys, RC here. We are back with some highlights from our match with Borussia Mockengladbach. I think that's close. We pick up the ball in our half. Gislaine, who has been under tremendous pressure, starts the counterattack and it goes up front and Ashali puts it away and he has been a goal scorer for us. Has he not? That one just gets over the center back. Ashali puts the pressure on, lays it off to Coley, and he gets his first goal in 18 hours. Put us up 2-0 in the 89th minute. And we had to sit tight, try to play some defense. They got it in on us, and Nemchik got one back. Too little, too late. We held on for the 2-1 victory. Pretty dominant, 22 shots to 5, 59% possession. And if we take a look at the competition, well, schedule-wise, uh, we had the win over Bakum 5-3, uh, Jack Hunter with a hat trick, Takahashi with a goal, and Yopek with a stoppage time goal. Bayern Munich beat us 3-1. Os Aslani got the go only goal for us. 103,000 fans at Bayern. That is insane. But I tell you what, I do like, look at this, home match against Bauckham, almost 49,000 people. So uh, I'm pretty happy so far. Taking a look at finances, continuing to trend in the right direction. And transfers, we have made a couple of moves. We still have a couple of days in the transfer window after today's match that I just did, the highlight, up until the next match that we're going to play on camera. So taking a look, we signed Ricardo Vaz from SLB, $3.6 million. He's valued at 5.75, 25 years old from Portugal, three-star potential, and pretty good winger. Uh, he's going to be just depth for us out there. But he was pretty solid, and you know we needed a little depth on that right side. On the other side, uh, you've seen all those moves, so nobody knew out. Taking a look at the transfer center, uh, Gislaine has been the target of quite a few clubs. Lincoln has come in with several bids. I gave them a counter offer. I'm asking $120 million for him. He's 27 in his prime. He's our number one center back. If they want him, they're going to have to pay for him because... I'm not interested in letting him walk, especially when uh, teams like uh, Juventus are coming in at uh, undervalue. So they can kiss my ass. Uh, Park, we had offered out. We had an offer on him. He rejected the contract from them. So, uh, And we're looking, basically our youth guy is trying to sign up some young, young players, mostly young German players because we don't have a lot. So that's what's going on there. In the competition, currently we are just outside of European qualifying in seventh. Six points from three matches, so that's nice, although most of these clubs have a game in hand to catch up with us. But we're holding our own so far. And remember, we were supposed to avoid a relegation battle, and we guaranteed them that we would finish mid-table. So I could be setting myself up or uh, a rough landing if we don't do well this season. Oh, I wanted to also check out um, Bolin in the Premier League here. So they've started the season. They're in relegation spot right now. Only two points from five matches. Got to think we would be doing a little bit better, but that is what it is. And... What I was really interested, I, I got a team report on these guys. Well, I had a team report on them, right? All right, this is what I wanted. I wanted to get the team report, which I had already had, but I guess too much time had passed. Uh, if we take a look at current ability, you know, we've got a handful of guys that, that could be good long term, but none of them are more than average for what we currently have. and. Um, we actually made an offer on Kravinko, but they turned it down. And none of the other guys, none of the other guys really got my attention. Vera's still off to a good start. Three goals in six matches. But I just don't think 
I looked at him. I don't think he's any better than anybody we've got right now. So I didn't see anything there. We did get we did go in and take uh, one or two coaches. So that was about it. All right. Well, let me get up through uh, the transfer deadline, which is today at uh, eight o'clock or something like that at night. And then uh, we'll get up to the next match. We'll go through any last-minute transfers, and uh, then we'll have the match. So see you guys back here in a second. So we've reached the transfer deadline. We've made three signings. Two are just more young players, uh, Michael Beinert and Frank Ecker. We tried to get a third player. Or these are both, uh, I believe, German. Uh, he's German. Yeah, both German. Uh, we tried to get a Russian 16-year-old, uh, but we couldn't get the paperwork done in time, so that one fell through. We made one other big signing, $9 million, our big signing of the year, which, again, I'm finding the, you know, it's 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 a little weird. I'm finding the uh, the numbers here to be just a bit skewed. Everybody wants to offer us, you know, barely barely value on the player, and they want, tons of money for their guys but you know in fairness he's valued at 11 and a half uh he is a defensive mid which is an area we needed to strengthen he's 25 years old doesn't quite meet the team requirement for signing under 23s but all of these guys are three stars it's like there's no superstars so i don't know if that means we're that good that everybody is just average with the other players that we have or we're just not looking at the right players, the ones that cost 40, 50, 60 million, which I'm not used to paying that much for players anywhere. Even in England, I'm not used to paying for that that much for players. Uh, so I don't know if that's something unique to Germany. Let me know in the comments. Uh, he is pretty good, though. Uh, he's going to be our, our backup at that position to uh, Abbas, but Abbas is 32. We've gotten offers for him. We got more offers for our center back, which, by the way, we did ex uh, Gislaine, I think is his name. We did sign him to a contract extension, about $80,000 uh, a month more, and uh, he was happy to stay with us. Uh, Brentford came in for him, but was still in that $20 million area. Wasn't interested. So uh, let's see. We've seen all that, so we're playing uh, Fortuna Dusseldorf today. So let's get to that. Here's the team we're going with. All right, so here's our lineup. I'm going to actually give Morena a start today. This will be his first start for us this season. We've let Har Harum Basic uh, have all the starts in the first three games. He's given up seven goals. Uh, what's that? Two tip saves. Anyway, no shutouts. So, definitely need to maybe upgrade at goalkeeper. But we're going to give Morena a start today. Let him sit, show what he can do. Uh, Bruger is one of our new players. He's done pretty well. Uh, Gislaine, that's our, uh, that's our star center back that we've signed to a new deal. Gunderson, Sahin, who's actually a wonder kid. Uh, Abbas in the deep... Uh, the, bat, the deep position, Kohli and Takahashi in the mid, Hunter and Yapik on the wings, and Aslani on the point of our attack. I didn't know what I wanted to say right there. Anyway, let's get into the match. All right, we are playing uh, Fortuna Dusseldorf today. They're in the white. We are in the black and red. Oh, nice little touch by Kohli to get past his man, Yopik. Loses it. That was good drive, I guess, by him. But you know, he he lost it there. Let's uh, let's encourage the team. All right there's a deep throw into the box, and we get a flick on header from Takahashi, his third goal of the season. He's just coming back from international duty, by the way. He uh, he scored a goal, and uh, Jopic uh, scored a goal for his country as well. Ah, oh, he just went up and challenged the keeper. Boy, that keeper's tall. But we take a 1-0 lead. Liking that. Hopefully we can hold on. Oh, there's a challenging ball that goes 
deep into the corner. Uh, he beats the defender. And Morena! Oh my god, he made a save. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. We've got a... Oh my gosh, that should have been in the net. Looks like it went off the crossbar. And we lost an opportunity there to be up by two. There's a shot goes into the cop at the end of the end of the stands. I hear a lot of places refer to a cop, and it's I think it's always the the stands behind the goal. But what does that mean? Let me know in the comments. Those of you in Europe that you know we don't have cops in America. I mean we do, but they drive in cars. They have lights, and they arrest you if you do something bad. You know. Um, so, what exactly is? the cop what does it mean in a football stadium oh my god somebody's dead on the pitch and they make a save and i think they're gonna close it down there that looks like a pretty serious injury i don't know that we've seen that before he actually stayed down that that was interesting I'm glad it was their guy and not my guy our guy oh my goodness that one goes off the woodwork we get a clearance on it and he carries it out of play let's uh let's demand more we are we are not looking too enthusiastic here and we pick up an injury it's yopek a foot injury he was frustrated by the feedback demanding more. Really? Uh, we've got one. Let's make it two. Chill out. All right, so Yopek, who are we going to bring on for him? Uh, let's bring on... Um, you know what? I want to... Cernan can play... Cernan's good for 45 minutes. I think we had a fitness issue with him, and we have not seen him play. Now, he's really good. Um... You know what? I'm going to bring Cernan up top for Aslani. Put Aslani out on the wing. And this will be Cernan's debut for the save with us due to injury. Oh, the keeper made the play there. Where is our midfielder? Go up and head that ball into the goal. Oh my god, he's just driving in. He beat two or three of our guys. He, we've got to do better than that. Got to do better. I want to check our tactic. Are we... Yeah, let's take off to get stuck in. Go that route. Just want to kind of cut back on some of those yellow cards. Oh, hello. Cernan just upended him getting that ball. That was aggressive. Uh, Sahin with the block. Another block by Coley that time. Blocked away again. Good deal. We cannot progress it up the field, though, and they come right back at us. We're not playing bad. Oh, that's that's oh. That was that was a tough break cuz we had two guys that had opportunities to clear that ball out. Instead, Eco Effendi gets his second goal of the season. Yeah, we had a tackle there. One Well, we had at least one opportunity. Morena looked really bad on that one. Needs to look better. We're still in a point for a draw here. Hopefully we can hold on and maybe get this back. Oh, there's a nice drop in. It's Hunter. Hunter had that hat trick earlier in the season. Would like to see some more goals coming from him. Oh, that bent in nicely, but right into the hands of the keeper. And that's going to be the half. XGs are pretty even. Score lines pretty even. 
shots and on target they've got a slight advantage all right let's go out pause it real quick and i want let's put that back on and let's twist that a little bit i think that's enough changes I don't, I think you should be able to yell out tactic changes and they change automatically. I mean, I understand substitutions, but all you're doing is saying, work the ball into the box now, guys. They should be able to go with that automatically. Didn't have an issue there. All right, Sahin. Aslani makes a good move. Oh, into Hunter, and he's in. Oh, my goodness. Come on, guys. All right, Hunter laces it into the box. Oh, that's a nice header right to their player, and he breaks out. Bruger gets toasted. Luckily, he didn't try to lay that ball across to Gunderson. All right, I think we're going to wait a few extra minutes here for a sub. Oh, there's a nice save at the post. Liking that. Okay, well, let's put a uh, let's put a sub in here. Anybody playing really bad? Not really. Actually, Cernan's not playing very well. So I'm going to put Aslani back up top. Takahashi for Delu. Um, No, let's bring Sam in. Sam's actually started some matches for us. Oh, they take the ball off of Cernan and turn it around. This is where we showed a little promise in the early game last episode where we were able to control the ball in the midfield. But that kind of fallen by the wayside here. Let's encourage them. We run that play all the time. And I haven't said anything on corners. And I bet they do it again. They do. And there was an offsides. Bad, bad decision making. All right. Let's come in and make a sub here. We've got uh, Sahin, is, Sahin is starting to struggle a little bit. Let's bring on... Uh, all right, so we've got an injury, and I had to pause there. I hope I edit this out right, but he's got a potential foot injury. Oh, he's off. What am I doing here? Oh, it was uh, Sahin. Yes. All right, so I was looking for... He's solid. He's a center back. So if we bring him up here for Sahin, then I can move... Gunderson out wide, and I think that gives us the base we want, keeps our center defense strong. That was optimistic at best. Ah. Nice. Oh, there's a nice move right there. Good good header down. Lays it up into the corner. Okay. Optimistic. Ruger into the box. Chipped in. Oh, take a pop. Oh, that should have been a goal. Goes over. All right, there's our substitution. Let's praise them. Let's steal points here, boys. Flick on header. 
All right, there's Sam back out to Bruger. He takes a shot. Mm. Four minutes of stoppage time. No. Into the wall. And Coley. Put it in. Oh, it goes off the woodwork again. Oh, come on. Oh, we had a shot there. Why? Why can they not score? We take a point. Pretty even match there. I mean, we were heavy underdogs. We ended up with really, you know, a much better XG. I'm not disappointed. Possession needs to be a little bit better. Mm. Uh, let's go outstretched arms. I'm happy with what I saw. Some positives. All right. And we only conceded the one goal. So I think Moreno's played well enough to earn another start here. Uh, two weeks for Yopek. That's, that's disappointing. We'll get through another stretch of games here. I think we'll come back for maybe Ross. Uh, well, actually, we just saw them in highlights, but that is a cut. <laughs> But I think we'll come back for Rostock highlights and then the Dresden match at home. And speaking of home, we pulled 51,500 for that match. So that's good. And we're sitting sixth. Still with a game in hand, but most everybody else is even with us. So we're, we're holding our own for that mid-table finish. Hit the like button, subscribe if you don't mind, and uh, we'll have another episode of The Journeyman here in two days. Uh, but don't forget, I also have the single team save in the Netherlands taking place on the off days. So daily uploads, two different series if you haven't checked that other one out. Thanks so much, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.